the meditation song dhyana paattu composed and sung by sri sadhu om this composition by sri sadhu om titled the meditation song dhyana paattu is a beautiful explanation of sri bhagavan's atma vichara originally composed for children it is a valuable gem for children of all ages sri sadhu om's lilting inspiring rendition is indeed a joy as it is sung by one who has dedicated himself entirely to his guru sri ramana it can be heard in the video available here along with the tamil text transliteration and translation the translation has been done by michael james michael has had the great privilege of studying sri bhagavan's works in depth with sri sadhu om in tiruvannamalai and he has been instrumental in sharing bhagavan's teachings with devotees the world over other beautiful songs by sri sadhu om can be found on the video channel of sri ramana center of houston hosted by kumar sir the meditation song dhyana paattu one closing your eyes be seated be thinking of god without thinking of anything else be thinking of god alone two by your thinking of the world you see the thought of god will go away steadfastness is needed at first so do meditation with love three in whatever form you think of god in that form he will appear he has no form or name of his own he consists of pure silent consciousness four one blissful substance exists within your heart if you seek it with love unlimited happiness will be yours five in the cave of our heart we can see god who exists everywhere only after we have seen him here will all that exists be seen to consist of him six god exists within you as a witness who knows your thoughts only where all thoughts subside will god come and appear seven listen to the path to make thoughts subside listen to the words of lord ramana at the very moment that a thought arises see to whom it arises eight since every thought rises only to oneself see who this i is when one looks at oneself who thinks the thought that had risen will subside and vanish nine when you look look within yourself supreme knowledge will blossom forth to see the knowledge that sees practice practice and sees victory 10 among the many signs we learn the signs of god our real self is foremost among all excellent distinctions gnana nishta abiding as consciousness or self abidance is foremost 11 the purpose for which we have taken a body is only to enjoy true happiness the bliss of self knowledge abiding as god removing and casting away the body let us go 12 what is called god consists of grace and the entire world consists of darkness ignorance or delusion when you investigate what is real this truth will shine clearly may ramana sadguru flourish may his path of knowledge flourish may life live in the peace of self flourish may it definitely flourish